This is one of the episodes that makes me really appreciate this series being what it is despite some of its faults. There were so much compassion and care put into this that I cannot help but feel roaring emotions that I feel satisfied. Every single ounce of my nostalgia for the old Dragon Ball, and appreciation for the growth of some of these characters. I really like Pirina and Sayonel choreography and especially Piranha's mouth key blasts. They solidified them as one of my favorites. Also, the explanation they gave to the laying low made a lot of sense. However, it sucks, we couldn't see more of them. As the last two competitors of Universe 6, Pirina and Sayonel became desperate to stay alive. It was then shown that the two of them were really the result of the fusion within many of Universe 6's namekins. They were remaining until later in the tournament to settle the power, and with that power boost suddenly meant Gohan and Piccolo were in much more struggle. Because of this, Piccolo was surprised by the capability. Stuck in the inner world of his mind, he had been filled with the sights of many desperate namekins and thus lost the lead against Pirina. Seeing this, Gohan instead took the lead and claimed to give Piccolo sufficient time to charge his special beam cannon for a strong counterattack. Seeing that Gohan was struggling, Piccolo unleashes his special beam cannon early and fires it at Pirina, but it was wholly ineffective. Angered, Pirina launches a large key blast out of his mouth as a weakened Piccolo finds himself distraught. Piccolo wakes up in his inner world where Nail and Kami are. They tell him to wake up, and Piccolo realizes Gohan took the blow for him. His full power saved Piccolo, and Gohan asks his mentor to charge his energy once more as the blast of key hits, it's revealed that Gohan had actually blocked the strike. Apologizing, he swears never to fail to give Piccolo enough time again. Being taken away from his own father after his death and consent, Piccolo took Gohan with him. Not really getting his childhood with his father. Making Piccolo more of a father figure to Gohan more than Goku could ever be. This bond between them boosted the relationship between them from the start of the series. Gohan blocking a considerable energy blast for Piccolo is evocative of Piccolo's sacrifice during the Saiyan arc. The roles were instead turned there as Gohan would have been killed had Piccolo not blocked it. With this throwback to the early days in the series, Piccolo is energized and declares that he and Gohan will always command in the battles to come. Two old Dragon Ball Z characters just made an appearance after 24 years Dragon Ball Super Episode 118 was probably one of the most hype episode in the tournament of power yet, and a big reason behind that was that two universes got eliminated at once. This was anticipated though, because we already knew both Universe 6 and Universe 2 would be in a lot of trouble. With Universe 2 up again Goku, Android 17, and Android 18, they really had no chance. I think everyone expected them to get eliminated sooner or later. Universe 6 on the other hand, faced Gohan and Piccolo, which made it hard for them as well. But I really liked Sei Wanru and Pirina's power. They had fused with most of the namekins from the planet, and this made them especially powerful. Both of them had unlimited regeneration, thanks to the Namekian fusion. Speaking of the Namekian fusion, it was quite a while after we saw it again. Piccolo was actually the one who noticed the immense power that both Sei Wanru and Pirina possessed. Since he had gone through the same stuff in the past, he was the one to recognize same power, and he could sense multiple entities from within the two Universe 6 fighters. At the very same moment, we could also see Kami and Nail within Piccolo as well. It has been quite a while since we've seen those two. For those of you who don't know, Piccolo fused with Nail at Namek in order to fight against Frieza and defeat him. Even though he wasn't able to defeat him, he bought enough time for Goku to complete his recovery. Later, during the Cell arc, he fused with Kami as well. And yet again, he gained a significant power boost. Since then, we've barely ever seen Piccolo and Kami. But today, we got a glimpse at both of them after quite a while as well. It has been over 20 years since we saw them last, and I'm sure you all loved their appearance just as C.O.N. 